Apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir travelled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough. Please, you don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who the light. Whoa, is that a bomb? Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Once we're inside, is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. <laughs> an optimist, old friend. <laughs> Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. 
didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's... I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door. There's a light crystal. No! Here. That usually works. Yeah. No! No! Maybe it needs some extra oof. Kratos, try throwing your axe at that twilight stone. <laughs> yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Whoa. It's the light. Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple Winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. The creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls gathered down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the light elves were born. I imagine our light off friends will be less than pleased. It's 
Speaking of light elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... Best just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Follow me, friends. For us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this. Curious mind. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hide the last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <gasps> oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back. Yappa! <laughs> Oh! 
Long and short of it, aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. <laughs> hey, that looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. No. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this door, right? of your axe, Kratos.
Another chest over there. How do we reach it? We cannot. Let us continue. 